Now, isn't a beautiful sight? Easter Monday, 2022, and just beautiful. And look at those beautiful plants. I'd say, you don't say. Oh no, I'd say, it looks great to me. What is that? Is that like a potato plant and a garlic plant and another garlic plant and, and pepper plants and, and a shrub is looking really, really like a dud. And, and, and a mirror that needs to be put in a proper place, framed, and all that stuff. Really? What's this? What's this? What have you got going on here? Exploit and Tia. Whatever that means. Oh, and, and look. You got here. Um, six pages. One hour, five minutes to reply in writing, 3.41 a.m., Monday, April 18th, 3.41 a.m., 2022, a.m. 980, interview with a Caesarian who wrote a book, now living in Canada, but lived in an airport for several months, not allowed in any country. Now the question, having gone through all the bad, would you be willing to do it all again, provided you got to a pivotal moment essential to your life now? It's a yes or no question. Um, flip page. So, since this is the only paper I had on hand, and it took me an hour and five minutes to write my response to such a, a question as this. What, what would I do? Why would I even bother writing anything to a yes or no question? Because when you, when you limit a question to yes or no, some people have been brought up to see that it's a trap. What do you mean it's a yes or no question or answer? I'd have to find out what created the question first, and then I'd have to go through all these steps, and, and in, in the end, I may not have the answer that you'd be looking for me, from me, because it's a yes or no question, and you just want a yes or a no. And based on that, I'd probably answer no, just to, just to stop the idea of, <laughs> and I, I was reading the encyclopedia last night and found out the, record the towel sign or dowel sign and, and record what the logo is supposed to look like because as you see I need to write down the entire symbol as my drawing skills need work so and then I found out about the difference between the Tao and the Confucius as they both came out around the same time and there are two different ways of looking at this philosophy or religion and then it also shared the evolution of it and how it stands today um, but at 11 17 when I woke up after all that I going to sleep at 5 30 a.m. and waking up at around 8 going to sleep again around 9.30 a.m., waking up again at 11 this morning with three hours, more or less, and I recorded a dream. And one, two, oh, two pages of dream, and then I would like, from this dream, I, I was inspired 
when I woke up, I, I woke up to Rihanna Diamonds. And just the beat of that song, first time, well, probably not first time, but the first time today when, when I really listened to the, the beat and the rhythm of, of Diamonds by Rihanna, I started to write the, this lyrics based on my view of taking that sound, changing it into my own sound, so I would, would change it, and then I would create this here, page of lyrics, as this entire thing is the rough copy to what would be sang in the song that I would write. I know you're thinking, well, I thought that was the whole song right there. And it is. This is the whole song. And, but of course, this is a rough copy, right? So you look and you see, oh, it's got an introduction, it's got all this stuff, you could find a bridge, you could find verses and chorus in there, and so it's rough copy. This is what I was told in writing class, you have to just get it down first, and then editing comes later, and you, if you, it's going to be a story or it's going to be a song or whatever it's going to be it could become poetry you can do anything but you need the rough copy first so you need to just get it down so there's a whole song and i i'm done writing at 1247 okay so oh <laughs> i forgot so i was actually done at 1038 p.m because I wrote from, I, I wrote that entire time, from 1219 until 103. So it took me quite a while to write this song. And, and this actually here, this part here is almost like an afterthought, but it's created and written in such a way that this could actually be the chorus or the verses or something like that that would also go in the song, maybe, depending upon, you know, how you felt. And then I woke up. Well, okay, I was still awake, but I, I finished the second video of this series. There are no more videos, but yeah... I was asked, hey, you know what? Why don't you write down or share what what makes you act that way? What what made you go into that last relationship? And and now I can say, oh, this story, the two stories of knowing somebody, a soul or a person or a human being in a previous life and you're under the impression from the stories that you've grown up with that makes you live a hero's life, which is kind of, kind of on purpose, I would think, based upon this here question of, of if all that was... If all that was to get to that pivotal moment, one must ask before observing or answering, why are you asking? And the question again being, would you have, having gone through all the bad, would you be willing to do it all again, provided you got to that pivotal moment essential to your life now? A yes or no question. So, yeah, yeah, if, if, let's say, this is the whole idea about, well, see, maybe not everybody needs to get to that pivotal moment, 
right? But you'll see that with this, a really, really, really uh, important here. And see how specific questions address the hidden factors create an oppressive state. Should the priority be weighed on any one or all the questions asked? Why? Because this is the future we must prepare our kids for. And if everybody's going to go through that, then that right there, that's your why. That is your why. Because in, in reality, this is the world we live in. And if everyone has to lose everything or be brought to the very bottom of what they're willing to go to and go through in order to get to a pivotal moment deciding who you are, then it's our obligation as parents and as family to prepare our children for this, even whether or not we're, we're allowed to say, well, no, you'll go through the very worst of things as to, to get to an awareness of, of, of how you want to live your life, with who you want to live your life with. All these things that really, really matter. Because without these things, how are you going to live your life? Because maybe if you don't go through all this really bad stuff, um, maybe you will die. So it's essential that you go through all this stuff. But again, that's only if you have to die, right? You see what I'm saying, right? So that, that's why I say it, it's really, really important if, if every single human being has to go through the very, very worst, then... This is the future we're leaving to our kids. It's just like building a world where you are Will Smith and somebody um, says something or does something to destroy your reputation or that of somebody you love and we are creating a world where you must hire a mercenary because you are not allowed to stand up for the people you love. You see how, how building a world like that would be really, really, really bad. And the mercenary or mercenaries hired don't understand that whatever they do, they cannot make it seem like, oh, yeah, we didn't make you do that. You did that yourself. So now they are creating conditions and shaping your actions and behavior because somebody hired that mercenary or group of mercenaries to bring you to your lowest point. You see that, right? Doesn't have to be true. But in shaping somebody's actions, behaviors, and self-identity, or the identity of the world in which they live, you see that, oh, this is the future we're leaving to our kids. And if it is, and even if it's not, we should prepare our kids for the very worst, which means they actually do have to be heroes who can stand up and, and, and if they must, get into a fight. Because it's not about reputation, it's not about respect. 
it, it's just about retaining your dignity and, and that kind of that's like self-respect because if you vanquish all self-respect from a human being what are you left with you're left with a yes man or even worse you're left with somebody who's controlled by pretty much anyone under the threat of punishment you see that right yeah you're right I maybe I'm talking and it doesn't make sense but you can look at this as a public service for parents and grandparents and the world they want to live leave for their future generations. Hey, good luck to us all. We all need it.